Hey folks, today we're going to be making oven baked barbecue chicken. And we're going to clean the chicken first, like we always do. Whenever I'm making meat, I always clean it first before I fry or bake it. And the way that I do that is I basically place my meat in a big pot and I add some water to the pot of chicken. I add a few tablespoons of salt and I add a few tablespoons of lemon juice or sometimes what I'll do is I'll add some apple cider vinegar just depends, it don't really matter but you guys know how I clean my meats already I've already shown you guys how to clean meat a thousand times in my previous videos so that's what I do first and then after I allow my chicken to soak in the water salt lemon or water salt vinegar solution for an hour or two I rinse it off and then I season the chicken I season my um, chicken with onion powder I use garlic powder I season it with some black pepper I season it with some paprika season I season it with some seasoning salt. I use a combination of seasoning salt and adobo season. I just love adobo season. I told you guys that before. And the herbs that I use are thyme. And I sprinkle the chicken with some parsley flakes. Now, you don't have to add potatoes to your barbecue chicken nor do you have to add onions I just think that it gives it a nice flavor the onion and far as the potatoes I just love to eat barbecue chicken with potatoes I don't like barbecue chicken without potatoes I love potatoes with my barbecue chicken so I use a few small red potatoes I chop them up really fine and small and I do that so that they can cook uh, quicker um, if you place really, really big pieces of potatoes in the oven with your chicken, it's going to take it a little longer to tender. Uh, my onion, I chop my onion up into really small pieces. And to that, I also add butter, a few tablespoons of butter. Um, usually I melt the butter and I pour it over the chicken. Basically, that helps the chicken brown a little more. Help get that nice golden brown crispy look when you take the aluminum for you off and last but not least I um add barbecue and I like to use honey barbecue use whatever kind of barbecue you like the most I like honey barbecue so I add that onto the chicken and potatoes after the chicken have been baking for two hours and it got nice and crispy then I add the barbecue so that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna clean the chicken and after we clean the chicken and allow it to soak in the lemon water salt solution, we're going to season it. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do when we season the chicken. Okay, so let's clean the chicken now. I talked about this earlier. Uh, what we're going to use is some lemon juice. We're going to use about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. As I said earlier, you can use apple cider vinegar. We're going to use a few tablespoons of salt. And we're going to add some water. And you're going to basically allow this chicken to soak in the lemon salt water solution for approximately 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rinse off our chicken pieces. It's been soaking inside of the salt, water, lemon juice solution for over an hour. So we're gonna rinse the solution off.
You're gonna double rinse it, rinse it again. Okay guys, so here we have a bowl of water here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop our red potatoes up into small pieces like this. And we're going to add our pieces of potatoes to the bowl of water. And we're going to allow these potatoes to soak in that water For about an hour you just want to make sure that all of the stuff on the outside of the the skin don't go into the bacon pan with the chicken don't really matter if it do but I mean it's not gonna hurt you but still so I'm gonna chop up these pieces of potatoes like that You want your potatoes to be kind of fine so that they cook easier. And what we're going to do now is drop those pieces of potatoes into the water. Bloop. 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 And we're going to just let these potatoes sit inside the water for about an hour or so. The longer the better, I guess. And you don't even have to do this. You really don't. This is like not something you need to do. This is just something that I like to do with my potatoes. But some people don't even like uh, to bake potatoes with that barbecue chicken. So, like I said, it's not something that you really have to do. So, we're going to let them sit there for a little while. Okay, so while our red potatoes are soaking in that water, we're going to chop up our onion. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to cut it like this, cut them up like this, really fine like that. So that's how our onion should look, chopped up into really small dices and pieces like that. I'm going to add that to a bowl. Okay, so now we're going to season our chicken and we're going to season it with the seasons that I showed you guys earlier. We're going to be using some seasoning salt. Don't use a lot of seasoning because it has salt in it and we're also going to be using adobo season which also has salt in it. We're going to use some adobo season. Make sure you season the chicken well now. You may think I'm over seasoning it, but I'm not. You want to make sure that the season get on both sides of the chicken. I'm going to use some garlic powder. I'm going to use some onion powder. You don't have to use onion powder. I just like onion powder on pretty much everything I eat. We're going to be using some black pepper. Some paprika. Not going to use a lot of that. Only use about a teaspoon of that. That gives it color and give it just a little spicy taste. And last but not least, we're going to add our herbs. We're going to add some thyme. And some parsley flakes. Add a small amount of both. Now, here's what I need to talk to you guys about. This is not something that you have to do, but for best results, you might want to do this. You want to let your chicken marinate in this season. 
What happens when you allow meat to marinate and season is you allow the season to soak all the way through to the core of the meat. Okay, we're going to add our onions too. And you know, when you allow the season to soak through to the core, your meat tastes better. I didn't always notice that at first, but I noticed it after my elders and my family, like my grandmoms and my aunts and uncles, they used to always season their meats the way I'm seasoning my meat here. And they would let it sit inside of the refrigerator overnight. And I'll be like, what is the, the point and purpose in that? Like, I want to eat this food now. And they'd be like, you know, we having this for tomorrow, but we got to let it marinate. In marinating, I noticed that there's a major difference in how my food tastes when I marinate it and how it tastes when I don't marinate it. When I don't marinate my meat, I noticed that the food still comes out pretty good. And usually I don't marinate it like when I'm rushing. Um, but I noticed that I noticed that the meat don't taste seasoned on the inside. It just tastes like regular unseasoned meat. Now I can taste the season on the top of the meat, but I can't taste the season inside of the meat because I didn't allow the season to soak into the meat and embed itself all the way through the core of the meat. So that's basically what happens when you allow your meat to soak and season overnight. You're allowing the season to soak through to the middle and the core of the meat. So that's why when I make ribs, as I showed you guys before, when I make steak, I allow my steak and ribs to soak. But since we're making barbecue chicken, what we're also going to do is we're going to add a little barbecue sauce to this. And you can use whatever barbecue sauce you want to use. I like honey barbecue sauce. I'm going to add a few drops of barbecue sauce to this. And then we're going to mix that in. We're making barbecue chicken, folks. So mash that all in, all that barbecue sauce. You're going to let that sink through as well. And you're going to allow your chicken to sit and soak this all up. And it's going to sit in this overnight. And it's going to give your chicken a lot of flavor. The onions are too. The juice from the onions are going to soak into this chicken. Give it a lot of flavor. Okay, so you're going to allow this chicken to soak inside of the season, the onion juice, and the barbecue sauce. You're going to let it sit and soak that all up. It's going to absorb all of those seasons and flavors and juices. And it's going to sit inside of this from 8 to 24 hours. Let that chicken sit and soak up all them really good flavors. And this is basically going to give your chicken more flavor when you actually bake it. When it's done and you eat it, you're going to notice that the chicken has a barbecue flavor all the way through. Even when you bite into the meat, you may taste a little bit of barbecue flavor inside of the meat when you bite it. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to rinse off these potatoes. And I've actually had them sitting in the refrigerator overnight along with the chicken. I don't know why. These look really clean, don't they? Look at these potatoes. They're really, really clean. And there are all red potatoes. They're nice and clean. They look beautiful. That look really, 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 really good. And you can tell that it's been soaking for a long time because the color of the chicken has actually changed. Remember I showed you guys uh, my ribs after I marinated my ribs. Remember the rib video that I did a little while back and uh, soaking it in the barbecue sauce actually changed the color of the ribs. 
But yeah, that's our chicken, and it smells so good. You can actually smell it. I'm not even sniffing it, and I can smell the barbecue sauce. It has a really good aroma. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. That looks really, 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 really good. This chicken is going to have a lot of flavor to it. I should get Big D some. Y'all know bro Dante. I should get him some. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. It's really well seasoned. Okay, guys, so what you're going to do before you start this process is you're going to preheat your oven to 350. We're going to be baking these barbecue chicken pieces on 350 degrees. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a baking pan. Turn the baking pan that way. And what you're going to do is you're going to place your red potatoes in the baking pan first because they're kind of as you know potatoes are kind of hard so you want to sit them under the chicken and allow the moisture from the chicken to basically help them cook all the way through and to soften up Mm, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Looks so good. Mm, look at that. Chicken look really delicious, doesn't it? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and we're gonna add the rest of these onions and barbecue sauce to this. Now you don't have to add butter if you want, but I like to add butter to my baked chicken. I think it gives it more flavor. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna add a few tablespoons of butter to this. Okay, so let's add our melted butter. That's our butter. I'm gonna pour that on top of the skin. That's gonna make it brown when we take the aluminum for you off. Now I'm sure some of you guys are wondering if I'm going to add water or chicken broth and I'm not going to add any liquid to this dish you guys might need to um, you can add a half a cup of water or you can add a half a cup of chicken broth whichever one you prefer to use but I'm not going to be adding anything to this chicken because it's going to create its own natural juices when I put the aluminum for you on top of it and also from the potatoes so if you're not going to follow my recipe and add potatoes to your chicken then maybe you need to add a little water or uh, chicken broth but I don't add any water or chicken broth because I get enough water and moisture from my onions my chicken and most importantly my potatoes potatoes produce a lot of water when you're baking it so that's why I'm not going to be adding any broth or water I'm going to get a lot of water from the natural juices here that come from it out of this uh, uh, from the chicken and the potatoes so I don't need to add any water or anything okay we want to add some aluminum for you to this Okay guys, and we're going to, like I said, bake this for one hour covered, and then bake it for one hour uncovered. Chicken came out real, real good. I had it baking for an hour under aluminum for you. And then I took the aluminum for you off, and I continued to bake it for another hour uncovered. And this is how it's looking. 
So I'm going to add the barbecue sauce to this and then I'm going to allow it to bake for another half an hour. But as I said earlier, you don't really need to add water or broth to this. It kind of creates its own natural juices, as you can see. That's the juice from the uh, chicken, the potatoes, and the butter. But yeah, that's the way it looks. Chicken is really tender, it tastes absolutely delicious. I can eat it like this, really. And this is basically how you make baked chicken, but we're gonna add a little more barbecue. I want to show you guys another day how to make barbecue chicken in a more simple way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And there you have it, folks. Barbecue oven baked chicken. Look at that. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm going to plate that. I'm going to plate that chicken. It's really, really good. Um, I love honey barbecue sauce. What an absolutely delicious barbecue chicken. Look at that. I like mine to get a little burnt. So after I put the barbecue on the chicken, I let it bake for about another hour actually. Even though I told you guys to let it continue baking for another 35 minutes. That's because most people don't like really crispy barbecue chicken, but I do. It's time for dinner to be served. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that delicious barbecue chicken and potatoes. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely delicious, folks. Just look at it. Chicken is so good and tender too, folks. Let me cut that chicken. Look at this chicken. Look at it. Comes right off. Look at that. Mm. Let me eat the chicken. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's too good. Mm. Try this recipe out. Tell me, guys, how you like it. Good luck. I'm going to go tear this up. Mm, peace.